Now, last week, Emily talked about how all sport-related ga gatherings, including esports events in China, uh, have been put to a halt until at least April 30th. Katowice However, didn't even have a crowd last weekend. I am Katowice. A CSGO tournament did not have a crowd this past weekend. LCK events do not have crowds this weekend. Uh, so certainly, there is concern there. We do know that the uh, government is working with Riot. Uh, to try and see what they can do regarding the LPL. Emily, you will have more information on that, obviously, but uh, the online scrim league has also uh, started and ended, so to speak. Uh, what did you take away from that? Uh, anything leading into, hopefully, fingers crossed, competitive games for the LPL? Who? So I feel like the LPL scrims delivered in terms of what I expected from them, which was that teams were going to be taking them seriously enough to look at, say, some up-and-coming players, like, for example, uh, JB Gaming played uh, 705 over Zoom and still absolutely annihilated everyone. So that was really fun to watch um, because chances are, I mean, Zoom is one of the best tops in the LPL, so he's not really going to get a chance to start over Zoom, I'm presuming. Um, and 705 played actually better than, than, than I expected, uh, having seen, uh, ha from what I've seen of his uh, LDL performances. Um, I mean, I think we saw some Silas priority. We saw a lot of kills. Uh, we saw a lot of some, some weird team compositions. I mean, Karsa played Kha'Zix jungle for some reason. Um, it was it was a lot of fun. I'd really miss the LPL, right? Because you see these teams and they're just so willing to fight, especially in a setup like this where the standings really don't matter and the teams know that. It's just broadcast in scrims. Um, going forward, LPL returns March 9th and all uh, games are going to be played online. So we'll see. That's when we really see what um, can be applied from these scrims to how they end up playing online. I know um, Edward Gaming, like you guys mentioned, the mandatory quarantine that goes on when you have to travel. Uh, EDG, I know, moved all of their players back, so they've already already passed quarantine, actually. So they were ahead of the game where they're all uh, at their base. But going forward, looking at the online LPL, this is actually going to be really interesting because um, I'm... I'm cautiously optimistic as to how the internet infrastructure will work out here, um, how the fact that not all players are going to be coming in from the same location. Um, so we'll see how the league itself uh, slowly recovers. I expect it to look more like the scrim league at first than something where people are going to be like, oh my gosh, LPL comes back and these teams are all terrible. Like, what, what are you even talking about? How is this league uh, considered to be the best in the world? Um, I feel like that happened week one with the regular LPL season play. I feel like it kind of happened again with scrim league and I definitely think it will happen again during the first week of LPL when we return to online play. But for me, I'm just really happy that we're going to have more LPL action going forward so we can really start digging into these games and seeing where teams are at. Emily, do you have any idea on the, the point system? Will it be tournament? Will it be league for this split? Like, how will that work since they've started so late in the season? I mean, it's just, it's a league. And they basically have stacked games, so they have, like, a, a ton of games every day. Um, they, they tweeted the, or not tweeted, they posted the schedule on, on Weibo, and I believe the LPL English account uh, posted it as well, but it's all laid out where they have, like, uh, typically there are going to be three matches a day, so they're just kind of all, like, cramming their matches in to try to make up for lost time. Um, and, yeah, the, the first match to kick it off is going to be OMG versus LNG, followed by FPX are back against JD Gaming, and then RNG versus uh, Top Esports. So we actually have two, like, really interesting matchups uh, from the get-go on day one. We haven't seen RNG in ages. Um, we haven't seen FPX since they were struggle life trying to figure out how to fit Khan on their team as opposed to Gimgoon, who's a very low resource top laner. So um, I don't know. Are you guys as excited as me? Because I feel like I'm the only one Woo! who's excited about LPL. Think... LPL, baby! No, that's fabricated. That Nobody... is not. I love the LPL. No, there's not a single human being that could be more excited about the LPL that's than true. Emily Rand. But we're I'm all glad... battling for a second. That is that is true, but I do have a question for Emily. And Emily, uh, with the LPL starting so late, if 
it happens that China comes uh, to world, well, you know, assuming that it'll still happen in China, and the LPL has a poor showing at Worlds. Do you mm -hmm. think people will look back and say, oh, it was because they started so late because of the coronavirus, there's an asterisk on this, that's why the LPL didn't show up at Worlds? It didn't. Do, you, do you think there's going to be talk around that? I think there ha there is definitely going to be talk around that, um, and I also think it's mainly going to be because like, shout out to I don't know if anyone in Twitch chat is like a an OG like season three, season four LPL person, but like some of the uh, online tournaments we have seen in China have suffered from massive internet issues, and even um, at, with teams at their home venues like. Team WE's home venue always has like delays and pauses, uh, usually because of internet issues. So it's less for me the fact that they get a late start and more for me the fact that they're going to have to play the entirety of this online because of the virus. So unfortunately, I do think that there is, is going to be an asterisk. It's really unfortunate that yeah. that's the case, but I mean, like, uh, like, what do you guys think? Like, I, I mean, I don't see there's a way to avoid looking at that. Um, and again, it's less because of the late start and more because of the fact that they have to play everything online. I think that the thing is, it, the, the two things will always be true as it pertains to any events that get postponed or altered or canceled due to coronavirus. These are factual things. Number one, it's unfortunate that it's happening. Mm -hmm. Number two, it is 100% the right call. Mm -hmm. Every single time, mm -hmm. okay? The safety of human beings is much more important than any competitive game anywhere in any realm. Doesn't matter if it's traditional sports, doesn't matter if it's esports, whatever it is. Health and safety come first. Mm -hmm.